Hello, hello, hello. This is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ 14 video series. And this video is about a variable template. This is a new feature included inside C++ 14. Yes, you heard me correct. It is a variable template. Don't get confused with a variadic template if you already know that. So before C++, we had function template and class template. We all know this. And now we have variable template. So in order to understand this video, you must be knowing what is template in the first place. Okay. So let's directly jump to the program and see what this variable template can do. So it is very simple how you create template functions and template class, you will create a template variable. So this PI, this example is a very standard example. That's why I have taken this. So you have some variable pi and this is a value of this and this is very big number and it is obvious that if this type t is integer then you will get only 3 correct and if it is float then you may get till some precision and if it is double you will get little more precision and if it is long double you will get little more precision than this double okay and I have set the precision higher so that we can see how precisely we can get this number okay so as you can see that I can have pi with integer pi with float pi with double and pi with the long double and we also know that template works at compile time so this will get replaced when you are compiling it so once your exe is actually generated this number is actually written here here and here and what should be, I mean, what number it should be in integer case, it should be only three, correct? Because integer is an integral number. It doesn't have any floating point. So it will give you only three. So all those decisions are taken by the compiler. So without further wasting our time, let's compile this. If I'll compile this, it have compiled. If I'll run this, see, and this is the output. So in case of by integer we get only 3 correct and in case of float we are getting this number but how precise is this we can check that so till this number I mean till 9 it is correct see 9 and 2 yeah till 2 it is correct till this number it is correct after this it should print 6 but it is printing 7 4 1 0 so after this all these numbers are not correct so its precision level was till this number only I mean in case of float okay and in case of double obviously double has little more precision than float so it will go till this number okay so this much big number is coming correct so till 793 it is coming correct after that it should print 2 but it is printing 1 and 1 and 6 so instead of 238 it is printing 116 so its precision is over here itself okay so this is the precision for double and if you'll see for the long double it is little more than that so it is correct till this and 238 is also correct see here 238 is also correct so as we can see that these values were deduced here at compile time we are just printing it it was not calculated at runtime it was placed here at compile time something like this okay when your compilation was over it was looking something like this three and all these values were here correct so apart from this you can do one more thing actually it is very simple thing to do but let's have this a here and if you will print this a then it will give you that a okay so let's compile this and check that if i'll compile this compiled if i'll execute it see in the end it is printing a okay so actually you can initialize it with different type so if you will apply this type here it will give you that value and let me tell you one thing whatever we will achieve with this variable template we were actually able to do the same thing without variable template or oh, variable template okay so it was possible without this variable template 
but we had to tweak a lot we had to wrap this variable with some class or structure then we would be able to do this but now it is pretty straightforward okay so i think we are done here and go ahead and watch another video on c plus plus 14 i'll see you in the next videos bye bye